Does everyone have just one destiny in life? And can we work that out through astrology? If you're interested in this topic, please stick around. Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I wanted to take a look at a quote that I read some time ago. This was last year, I think. This quote comes from this book, How to Judge a Horoscope, Volume 1 by B.V. Raman. B.V. Raman is perhaps one of the world's greatest astrologers. He's absolutely prolific, this man, um, and when it comes to sidereal Vedic astrology, his works are incredible. And I have referred to this book a lot. I've got volume two uh, on my Kindle, and um, wow, what a, what a prolific man, what a great astrological mind. And I've been wanting to make this video for a very long time, I just never got round to it. It's largely because of this quote here. He does, he does an introduction to this book, and this is, um, he was writing this in Bangalore in 1941. And it's this paragraph here that just made me go, yes, absolutely, this is a man who is going to become a very important teacher of mine. Um, and I do refer to his teachings and his books quite a bit as I do my work. Um, but I'll read you the quote. And actually, just very quickly before I do that, I would also just like to take this opportunity to say I won't be doing live sessions anymore. Um, I will still be doing readings. Uh, so you can hop on my website and have a look, see if you'd like to book a reading. But you will notice that currently the sign says fully booked and that's because I am fully booked. Um, what happened was a couple of weeks ago, I got six bookings all at once and there were two live sessions and it, I was just thoroughly overwhelmed. Um, I know that's probably not too taxing for some people. I know some people are able to do, make lots of videos and do lots of readings and I can't. The other thing is I am recovering from a bit of a health thing so I kind of have to take it easy. And um, yeah, what I discovered through doing those live sessions recently was that um, the live sessions are simply too much work for me right now. So I won't be doing them uh, until maybe next year. Um, maybe next year I might do live sessions again, but um, what you'll be able to do, there'll just be limited availability on my website. Click on my website. I will release sessions as I can um, do them and we'll just do it that way. So. Um, yeah, it's been really interesting. It's been, I've been busy, um, busy doing work and busy recovering uh, from my illness as well. But I'm doing great. Um, health wise, everything's really good. So, um, and I'll just do videos when I can. That's another thing. Like, I kind of put pressure on myself. I'm like, oh, I should do X videos, X number of videos per week, and I should do Instagram, and I should do this, and I should do that. That's ridiculous. I've got to stop that. I'll just do whatever videos I can when I can. I'll do Instagram posts when I can. Um, and I'm not going to make uh, a big sort of heavy, heavily structured routine out of it. I think that's what I was doing and I think that was stressing me out a bit as well. So I won't do that. <laughs> I will follow my own advice and I will, you know, take it a bit easy because energy is a bit intense right now. It really is. It's uh, and it's going to crank up, especially if you're in the northern hemisphere. And I'm going to make videos about that. That is coming. It was four minutes already, but I just wanted to get that news out of the way about the channel, about my website, um, about the fact that you will see that it says fully booked quite often. Um, when I release more sessions, if you see there's a session available, take it. Um, but they will be few and far between, and absolutely no live sessions, no Zoom, no Skype. Uh, until next year, I think. So um, if that changes, I will let you know. Let's get into this quote because this quote is really the one that I read when I read this introduction and I thought, yes, this is the man for me. It's like, this is one of the criteria that I use when I'm 
if, if I was looking for a reading, right, who would I want to consult? This is the exact kind of person I would want to consult because this is how I practice astrology myself with you guys. So I'll just read the quote and then we'll discuss it. He says, can a science as astrology ever be untrue? The scientist takes too crudely a materialistic view of the whole nature of the universe. He contends that he may think of considering astrology as a fit subject for investigation, provided the destiny factor is ruled out of it. This is simply absurd. Love it. There is nothing like destiny in astrology. Wow. The proper term to be used is adrishta, or that which is not seen. Astrology simply indicates and gives the greatest scope for the development of willpower, absolutely, by means of which one can either counteract the evil indications or augment the favorable influences. And when I read that, I was like, absolutely, you have summed up exactly how I practice astrology. One of the things that I say in my introductions to my readings is I tell the individual that this is kind of like looking at a, a map of consciousness and in it we have karmas and we have, you know, so that the obstacles that you're going to face and the strengths that you have to overcome them or, you know, you know, why is your life set up the way it is? Well, how have you set it up? What kind of obstacle course did you set up for yourself and why? And what things did you switch off? What things did you switch on? Or what, what have you come to get good at this time round? Or what did you want to master? Or what do you want to give? Or there's lots of ways that we can look at this. But one of the ways I really like to look at it is that we are looking at a map. And it's, it's a kind of math, it's a kind of obstacle course that we're looking at. And we're looking at what have you, what have you come, I guess you could see it like a, like a gym, you know what I mean? So it's like in a room, you've got the rowing machine because you want to strengthen your arms and you've got the running machine because you want to, um, or the treadmill or whatever they call it. I don't even know. Um, the treadmill because you want to become a really good runner, right? So... But another person in their gym room, they just have weights and they don't have the other two because they just want to develop this other thing, right? Their, their muscles or whatever. So it's that kind of thing. And that, that, this is one of the ways that I look at a chart. You know, he says here that this is simply absurd. There is nothing like destiny in astrology. There isn't just one destiny. There isn't just one thing that you're here to do. That's why with career, career readings, it can be quite tricky because, and I mean, I've seen it in my own career. I have switched careers a good couple of times now. Um, you know, and when you look at my chart, the potential for all those careers is absolutely there. So... This is fascinating. And another quote that I've got for you, I'll just, we're at the eight minute mark. This is getting a little bit long, but I'm going to read this one as well because I think it's absolutely brilliant. It's from, uh, and this is on my Kindle, it's from the Book of Runes. So yeah, I'm learning, okay, so I'm learning tarot, right? I know this is like, here she goes, down tangents again. I'm going down tangents. Um, I'm learning tarot and I've also got a little Book of Runes here. I think I'm going to learn runes as well. I mean, I'm telling you what, I'm loving astrology. I'm not giving that up. Astrology, this is like a lifelong, this is for the rest of my life. I'm going to be learning this. I'm going to be a student of it. No doubt, right? This is forever. The runes thing, it's just a bit of fun. It's just like a hobby or something. And the tarot thing is a bit of a hobby too. But I will share that with you on the channel. Um, I am very excited to start making videos like that. I've got a few more, a couple more decks coming in the mail. Uh, I've got a couple of rune sets arriving as well. So... There will be videos where I do some readings with those because it's fascinating stuff. But when I read this here, again, I was like, I clicked and I'm like, yes, this is it. And there have been some tarot readers that I've watched on the internet. And when they talk about, you know, am I here to divine the future? And they say, no, absolutely not. I'm not here to do that. You know, when the cards come, it's like, and it's interesting because see, yesterday I did a reading for someone and pretty much the whole thing I was talking about the next few years for him. I was saying, well, this is when, what's going to happen over, your, <laughs> over the next few years for you. So it might seem like I'm foretelling the future or whatever it is. 
but it's it's not it's not that and and the other thing is and well the other thing is that with the readings that I had recently four out of the six of you that you came back you'd had a reading with me before and you came back and you said well um, you really helped me or you're very accurate or, or something to that effect and I'm just like I'm blown away every time I read that I'm just like really I said something wise okay like <laughs> but it's not me I, that's the other thing I know that it's not me I know it's the system so it's very interesting it's a very delicate um, space that gets opened up when you read for someone and you're kind of you know I, I'm not divining the future or I'm not saying talking the future or any of that but if some of that kind of stuff does come through you know that could be your higher self pulling it through me um, and the other thing is that I just read the system I, I interpret and read what I see right and the same thing here with these runes have a look at this so the quote here is remember that you are consulting an oracle ra rather than having your fortune told see when I read that I'm like yes this is yes this is exactly it an oracle does not give you instruction as to what to do next nor does it predict future events an oracle points your attention towards those hidden fears and motivations that will shape your future by their unfelt presence within each present moment once seen and recognized these factors become absorbed into the realm of choice. Oracles do not absolve you of the responsibility for selecting your future, but rather direct your attention towards those inner choices that may be the most important elements in determining that future. You see, this is, it's, this is the subtlety of what we're dealing with here. It, it's really subtle stuff. I love this, you know, oracles do not absolve you of the responsibility for selecting your future. Absolutely, they're there to give you information. And I really feel like a consultant. When I'm working for you, I feel like you're the CEO of your life. I'm a consultant. I'm telling you this is what the system is telling me, right? And then you have to take that data and your instinct might tell you to go off and do something totally different because you're a maverick and you're a leader and you're going to make something happen and you probably will right so bear that in mind uh, with readings and with all of this stuff but yeah I just wanted to make this short video which is not very short it's 12 minutes that's okay sometimes it's a bit long it's like that um, well this quote was attributed to Winston Churchill but I think it's actually Blaise Pascal who said this if I had more time I'd have written you a shorter letter love that but anyway that's what I have for you today and um, stick around in the channel. I will be looking at Rahu Ketu Axis. I will be predicting the future, <laughs> even though I just said I probably won't be. Um, but you know what I mean. It's like we say things that sound like they're predictions and they kind of are, but it's subtle, right? It, it, nothing's hard and fast here. Um, this is all data and everything because of the now moment, because of so many yeah, eight billion free wills or whatever it is like it, this is this is fast moving stuff here so um, and there's a very subtle art of getting still and using these systems to look at and inform us of how we need to empower ourselves going forward how we need to choose going forward how we need to take responsibility for our own lives going forward so I'm going to leave you with all that thank you so much for watching please do subscribe please hit the like button uh, and i look forward to seeing you next time